Hey guys, this is Poet Spice, Jamie Lola Tallula, and I am here to do a haul video for some things that have come in from, let's see, I think the Stamps of Life, Scrapbook.com, HSN, uh, who, where else? Craft Stash, Honeybee Stamps, Amazon, and Amazon. Woo! -hoo. So let's get started. So we're just going to go down the stack because it's so cute. So I haven't purchased a Gorgeous Girl anything in a while. After I did, what was it, two years of Gorgeous Girls uh, collab. But this was such a cute little stamp. And I have the die that goes, that a die set that goes with this that I got from... Um, online so I thought this was really cute and I decided that I was going to get it so this is from scrapbook.com and we're gonna jump around because it's just how it is on my stack here so from HSN on my um, auto ships this is from Crafters Companion, and it is their their uh, interchangeable dies. So it has one die that's the background, and then three sayings that will fit. So thank you, just for you, and miss you. And then you get a second one, and this one is best wishes, best of luck, and best friends. I think that's so cute. And then you can see how you've got your layers here. I haven't played with these yet, which is like ridiculous, but I haven't done it. <laughs> Oh, my crafty mojo is like, man, even though my shopping is not, well, I have not bought as much nearly. Okay, so then from KS Craft Lovers, I bought, actually these are from AliExpress, but these are Nicole Silhouette dies. So this is a semi truck front. It has all the little pieces to build the front of a semi. And then she had another planner page and so this builds a lantern so you've got the page you've got your layer you've got layers to build up so some reinforcers and then this one says Merry Christmas and then you've got the window die so that's cool and then you could take this die also and put it in a card and just make the windows there so those two which would be so fun for December daily also, let's go with Stamps of Life. So I am in the Die Hard Club. We all knew that, right? Stamps and dies. So they give you their little cards here. And I'm still debating on whether I'm going to buy this die set. I don't think so, but there you go. So we've got that. And then this came with, I don't even know why this was there. but So they give you little inspiration cards, which I just throw away. <laughs> I know, isn't that terrible? But it is what it is. So, they have this. Was this month's stamp die, co die club. So, you've got this little castle. And it's a good size, too. So, here's my hand. And you can see that. And so, you've got all your little accoutrement. And it says, I dig you. Um, I hope you're feeling fine and sandy. <laughs> I love puns. Seize the day. Hello, summer. And then, of course matching dies because it is myself and I do not like stamps without dies and from July to the end of the year they are giving you two free die sets so there's this wave pattern that has two dies in it and I guess it doesn't have to be waves it could be like shingles or whatever and then this one that says you are I want to say that's amazing is that's what it says yeah you are amazing so that was that then they had these as a release so coffee to stamp and i'm not a coffee drinker but i love these little pots here they're so cute so i had to buy the stamp and die set of course and then they had this which is a folded a five by seven folded sand castle so i thought that would be fun and of course it matches the monthly stamp so those were my orders from Stamps of Life. So fun. Oh my god. Was... Alright, then let's see what else came from Craft Stat. Well, let's do Honeybee because it's right here. So from Honeybee Stamps, they were having 20% off on their um, retiring section. So it had a retiring discount plus... 20% off and I'm so mad at myself because I 
did not pick up one of the things that I thought I picked up. So they give you a little card and it says, hello friends, so you can color this up. It's so cute. And then it's got all our information on the back. So it's so cute, I love that. And I'm gonna have to start doing that because I don't ever put the hashtag on there. So that'll be fun to color. And then I bought this set. <laughs> I've been looking at this set for a while. It's so simple, but it's so cute. These little chickens. And you get the you get the little hay thing. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I guess they're food. They're little chicken feed. And so you get this little hay thing and all these little eggs. And they are so funny. They are just, you get a little tie. <laughs> you can put it on there. How cute is that, right? So that was in the retired section. I've been looking at this for a while. And then it's me. So we, of course, were getting the dye to go with it. And I love Honeybee because they already have everything cut out for you. You don't have to cut it apart. And there's a die for everything on their page. Everything on their page has a die. So that's lovely. So I got that. Now, this is where I was so mad about my And I, it was my mistake. I bought this sentiment. I don't know if you can read it. It says excellent sentiments. And so it cuts out the sentiment. And I thought I put the actual stamp set in my basket, and I did not. So I had to go back and make another order. <laughs> so I could get the stamp set that goes with it. Because you gotta have excellent to go with the chickens, right? Right. And there's no point in having the die without the stamp set. So needless to say, like, there's an order coming from Honeybee Stamps. Then, I have been looking at this. I keep finding this. Everybody had the die, the die, the die, the die, the die, which is awesome, but I couldn't find the stamp anywhere. So Honeybee had it on their site in their clearance section, and I finally got this. And they had the stamp set. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. Like I need another thing Christmas. No, I don't. But this was so cute, and I've been looking at it since last year um, when I saw it, and I'm like, oh. So I finally got it and it's retiring and I got the stamp and the die. So I was like really happy. And I might make a card real quick with this. <laughs> Cause I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I am also going to be doing some de-stashing here. I think next week cause I need to get rid of a bunch of stuff. So there you go. And let's see. Now we can go to scrapbook.com and we'll go here. So, um, Hunky Dory. They have the Moonstone die line. And this is their shadow box. So you can see it. So cute. And this one is called A Magical Tree Scene. And you see, you believe in the magic. And they have all these little fairies and all these little scenes that you can layer up to create this dimensional thing up here. And then they had a previous release um, a Christmas one, and I think it was like an everyday one. So I have those releases as well. And you also get um, where you could do a background, the square box that has a square inside, and then they have a square box where you can do oval or circles. So I have the whole collection, and this was the newest release. So I got this. So you got this one, and it's cool because you could also change this one. Like you could use this one and this one, both for winter. And then they have this one. And you can see what it's supposed to layer up. I don't know if you can see that. See what it's supposed to layer up like if you use it the way intended. And so you've got your little bridge and your mountains and everything. So you could take this whole thing and create winter or spring or whatever, fairies. I love these. So I bought those. Then we all know my love of Asian inspired stuff. So in paper discovery, and I better check these because they have a habit of not putting the right dies where they need to go. So let me check these real quick. All right, they do have the right dies in here. So I got this set, which is just the icon. So there's no stamps that go with this. They just have, it's just the dies. So yeah, I'm like, let me check this. So. <laughs> Because they have a habit of not. So if you buy paper discovery dies from Craft Stash, make sure you check them. Because I've had quite a few issues. Alright, so then they had this one, which are the outline dies 
for the stamp set. And I debated on getting either one of these because I do have some, I have a bunch of tattered lace that is Asian inspired. So I was like, mmm, but look how gorgeous this tree is. And then look at this. And look how pretty she is. And then look at this. And that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And then the dies. I'm so glad they have a die to cut this out. Oh! So let's check that real quick. Make sure they are the right ones. Because we know, like I just said. All right, so they look like they're the right ones, which is fabulous. Okay, so then what I have left is coloring related. So I did get this 72 count pencil case. And I put in my Star Joys that were in a roll put them in here and I just got this case I love this purple case mm. of course why because it's purple <laughs> and I originally got this because I was going to put in my one of the other things that I have and then I switched my mind up so we shall see then I bought this set of things from Amazon so we've got our you know an eraser we've got these paper stump a extender and it came with your uh, sandpaper to shape these up and it also came with some of these shorter ones and they're smaller so you can use those to blend I'm trying to see they give you a little bit of how to use them and then this is the brand and of course they were in this little paper bag so I bought those on oh, these are from Amazon the case and these are from Amazon and I will link below then this is from craft stash because I bought these Faber Castells polychromos now Faber Castell is obviously a famous brand from 1761. Right, right. But they're also expensive. So I have been, been putting off buying them because I'm like, I didn't want to pay that much. So the full collection is $184 right now on Amazon. And, and I'm not, I don't want to pay that. Um, and I think it's only 100. I can't remember how many pencils. So Craft Stash had a coupon for 20% off. So I decided I was going to go and try the 24 set. So I got them. I've been playing with them. I did a coloring with them. Love them so far. So I am very tempted to get the full set. But $200 on pencils. Yeah. Yeah. So I got this set, which was only uh, like 30 bucks. It was probably less than that once I put my coupon with it. <laughs> so 20 versus 200. Mm -hmm. All right, then they had a new book out called 50 Jungle Miniatures. And I got this on Amazon. It's Camelia Angela Kova and Coloring Community, obviously. But it has some cute images in it for the jungle. So what? I love elephants. So this is just something like, this would be like mindless coloring for me. Instead of very fancy ones. Let me, when I say fancy, I mean detailed. So let me show you what I mean by detailed. Because I don't do that much of this on my craft channel. So here's a mythic graphic one. And they are quickly becoming my favorite ones. So you can see here, this is a simple one for a mythic graphic one. This is a relatively simple one for a mythographic one. You can see this on my fully completed pages. So you can definitely tell the difference between these two types of images. And then let me show you one that's even more complicated. So mythographic, well, there you go. So you see, check that one out, look at that. So definitely not mindless, mindless. <laughs> and I don't really do mandalas and all that kind of stuff. I like to draw them, but I don't like to color them. <clears throat> Unless they're really easy 
and even then. So I got that one. And then the last thing I have, I was so excited. I was so happy. And I don't think I showed this on this channel. Oh my gosh. Derwent Ink Tints. I have been, I had them for before because Rosa, she sent me some in a, pa in a Happy Mail package one time with a couple of those, some other things. And so there were a few in there that she sent me. And ever since then, I've liked them. I bought myself a 32 pack when they, when I found a really good Amazon deal. Well, there's 72 in the range and these are like a hundred and something dollars. And I was not going to spend that, but look, I was so excited because Jojo from the coloring community, and I've been doing a bunch of buddy colors with her the last few months, sent me these as a present. And I almost cried, and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. So she sent me the 72 set as a present, and I was floored. Absolutely floored. I could not believe it. I was like, oh my gosh. You know, because when I don't want to pay something for myself and yet somebody else did it, I was just like floored. So this is like one of the best things I've gotten in ages. I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. So that is my last thing that I have to show. And I was just so excited. I couldn't believe it. I just could not believe it. I still can't believe it. I'm about to cry now. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to go do some coloring or making of something. Don't forget to watch. I have a process video coming up on the Not Too Shabby Shop channel on Tuesday. And then I have our craft stash collab on Friday. So definitely come and watch. All right, see you guys later, and don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and play along. Have a good summer.